This is St. Juan's Bay, at the heart of the proposed Jersey National Park, and these people are here to make a statement against building development on Jersey's coastline. It looks quite impressive. But just who are these people? How many live in porter cabins or lodgings or other substandard housing accommodation in St. Helia? Is this just another display of the haves protecting their own interests and not caring about the have-nots? Jersey's National Trust is fighting to save the countryside, but who is fighting for the thousands of working people who live in the St. Helia ghetto? Yes, hello there. Nice day in St. Wong's in the autumn. It's a nice day, very breezy, uh, right. good turnout. Good turnout, you were pleased? Very pleased, yeah. What do you think is the aim? What are they trying to do? Um, definitely stop all the, uh, the big houses from ruining the environment right. um, and protecting our coastline because it's very important. Obviously, this area shouldn't get built on. I can't imagine it being built on. Do you think it's definitely it's, not? Do you think it's under threat? It is under threat, um, but I think we're lucky that we have. Uh, Groups, environmental groups, to stop the necessary building. Fifteen thousand people in Jersey live in lodgings. Yep. There's another eight thousand people planned to come to Jersey. Stay where, away. Where are they all going to go? <laughs> uh, I'm sure they can go to town, and then they can come to the uh, the beach for the the weekend. You think they that's acceptable? Uh, yes. Do you live in town? No, I live in St Brellards at the moment. Yeah. There's three and a half thousand cows, they've got an awful lot of space. Do you think they need it all? Yes, they do. You think? Do you, do you drink milk? E oh, actually, no, I don't. Well, no, well. I drink soya products. Soya products. <laughs> so, do you think the cow has a future? I think the cow has a future, and I think if you look around the countryside, it's pretty and it should stay like that. Because it, um, 50 years ago, it never looked like this, and it's becoming more built up. 50 years ago, the population was half what it is now. Yeah, I think they need to put a cap on the population as well. They keep threatening, but it never happens. 20 years time, do you see yourself with a family of five kids and a house? And Maybe not five kids, but definitely kids in a house. Um, and I still want to be coming down to ones. In town? <laughs> you live in town? No. You wouldn't? No. So you want a house in the country? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> up, up the back, somewhere. What would they do with yep. the line in the south for an Um, To save Jersey coastline. That's a good idea? Yeah, of course it's a good idea. Um, coastline's pretty much all that island has. So... Uh, oh. <laughs> but save it from what, do you think? Save it, it from what? The this area is area. never going to get built on, is it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it probably will. I mean, they're building there and there, there and there and there and there, so it's all going like, to probably get built on. But people should s s support it at the moment and try and stop it being built on. <laughs> 15,000 people in Jersey living lodgings, where are they going to live, Fernando? I don't know. What do you think is going I'm, I'm not going to have any answers. Um, I'd say you know, there's no point destroying what you have to just turn into a big field of buildings. So The plan, the plan is to increase the population up to 100,000. Do you think that's possible? It's possible, yeah. You could probably increase up to 200,000 if you just had lots of like, little boxes everywhere for people. It depends on the quality of life you want to have. So, um, I say it's stupid, but again, the people with the money that want to set it up and do it, they're the ones that are going to be in charge at the end of it. Um, do you see yourself here in 20 years' time? Um, so that's a tough one. I'd see myself here in 20 years' time quite easily, but I also see myself swearing about the place a lot in 20 years' time. But it's anyway, what happens when you get older anyway, so... Do you see any political solutions? Does it interest you in politics to get involved? No. Um, it's a bit of a pessimistic side for me, I think. I think did you vote this last election? Yeah, I always vote, but I don't get involved in it. You know, apart from that, I've just got to do but a yeah, bit. But, but you're here today giving your half support. Half support, yeah, totally. I completely support saving the coastline, but at the same time, I don't think it'll make any difference because if they want to change it, they'll change it. Um, and if they want to increase the population, they'll increase the population. And if it's harder on everyone, then that's their problem. Thanks very much indeed. Thank you very much.